My name is Tim Foreman. I play bass in Switchfoot. I'm Chad Butler, and I play the drums in the band Switchfoot. For years, we've always talked about making a movie that collides surfing and rock and roll, the two things that come the most natural to us. And finally said, well, we're going to do this or not. So yeah, we set out to make a film that does just that, but I think none of us would have predicted the twists and turns that happened along the way. Our connection started in the ocean, you know, it's where we met and developed our friendships on the beach surfing together. And, you know, after eight records, you're looking for new stories to tell and new ways to inspire yourself. And so for us, planning out this new album and the documentary, if we were going to find inspiration, we'd have to find it in the ocean. We surfed some pretty heavy waves in South Africa, and it was actually on my birthday. And I just remember thinking, you don't want to die on your birthday, you know? <laughs> It was just ugly out there. Not just big, but just stormy, windy, hard to see. And South Africa is known for really heavy waves, especially that part of Cape Town. A spot called Crayfish Factory. Paddled out there, this freak set came in and cleaned everybody out, and John just took it right on the head and snapped his board like a twig. And I think we were just humbled and <laughs> thankful to, to make it back to the beach, at least ourselves in one piece, if not our boards. Paddling out in South Africa, that's the first thing on your mind. Anything that moves, seaweed, kelp, just freaks you out. You're just looking down the whole time because of the very real threat of great whites. And yeah, we were laughing on the on the beach. They had showed us a cell phone app where you can track the sharks and all the dots are right around Cape Town. <laughs> and that's just the ones they know about that they've tagged. Yeah. You're like, okay, well, let's go. <laughs> As a kid, I always wanted to be a pro surfer. You know, that was the dream. You got posters on your wall of Tom Curran and Slater. And, and uh, when that doesn't work out, uh, and you join a rock band, you know, you don't get as many opportunities to surf. This was the dream come true. We got to tour, play rock and roll, and go to our favorite surf spots all in one year. When we were making the film, none of us anticipated how real and honest it would get, the highs and the lows of touring and living the life that we live in. And now that it's gonna be seen by everybody, it makes me hope someone would be inspired by those moments and, and find encouragement or inspiration through just seeing us be who we are and, and be real about our family life and balancing family and being in a rock band. It's tricky and we don't have it all figured out. You know, we're on this journey and process of trying to be good husbands and fathers as well as play rock and roll and that's kind of a contradiction in the industry. So it's, it's challenging and there hasn't been a, a model for us to follow. It's been one day, one tour at a time trying to figure it out and support each other. You know, really we've grown up together, you know, over eight records and touring the world together for so long. It's a special family that we call a band. <laughs>